What's up, guys, and welcome back to the show today. Uh, we are doing video number two of the Breakout series. Last week, we did Michael Mayer, and this week, we're coming at you with Bob, and we are going to be doing one of my personal favorite players. Uh, Bob, who are we going to be covering today? And thank you for joining us. Hey, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. I think uh, this episode, man, we're going to be talking a little Tajay Spears of the Tennessee Titans. I love Tajay Spears, man. Someone that I know we had conversations about last summer. Any Tennessee fan is huge on this guy. Just as a reminder for everyone, Tajay Spears, RB for the Titans, and he was the third round pick last year. So, Bob, why do you think Tajay Spears is a great breakout candidate for the 24 season? Well, I think the job's his. I don't know. Uh, there's, uh, we just don't really see uh, Derrick Henry returning to the Titans. Um, and to be completely honest with you, um, this draft class isn't very running back heavy. And so I don't see Tennessee bringing in, I mean, they, they could bring in like a veteran or, or two just to have depth. Um, but, and, and they may, draft a, a rookie in the middle of the rounds, but I just don't see someone they're going to be paying money that's going to come in and take touches away from from Spears this coming season. He he really, really showed a lot this rookie, this rookie season, he, uh, you know, putting up some respectable numbers, even with Derrick Henry getting the bulk of the carries. Um, but uh, you know, this coming season, uh, I really, really see him breaking out. Um, you know, flirting with RB2, even maybe RB1 stat, you know, back end RB1 numbers. Yeah, I, I think for Tajay Spears, it really is all about touches for this next season. We saw how efficient he could be with those touches last year as below, right? He had 52 catches last year, which I think is amazing for someone who is basically a supplemental back to Derrick Henry. But but Tajay Spears with touches, even a 60 to 70% snap share I think could definitely flirt with late end RB1 high uh, RB2 and, and just like you said man um, a lot of people are very down on this draft class for RBs but the second step that I think a lot of people need to make is if you're down on this draft class it means we need to be investing in the current RBs on the current teams whether they're the veterans or the second year guys like Tajay Spears. I mean, yeah, uh, the one thing that this uh, week running back class in the uh, in the draft coming up, I mean, listen, there's a there's this isn't a horrible class for running backs. There's there's a handful of guys that uh, I think are going to be, uh, you know, good NFL players and, and possibly, uh, you know, fantasy starters one day. However, there's not that Saquon. There's not that Bijan, Brees Hall type of guy in this draft. Uh, so um, you have. That that's very very good for the free agent running backs because there are a lot of them. Saquon, Derrick Henry, we mentioned, you know, Josh Jacobs. There's a lot of guys out there. DeAndre Swift, um, and and so that could help their case. I just don't see Tennessee really jumping in and and paying money to a a big time running back. Uh, Spears showed that he can and most likely will carry most of the load. Uh, for this next year and and maybe even beyond, um, you know, so, and, you know, you mentioned just a few minutes ago, his 52 receptions. Yeah. He had 70 targets um, this past season, 385 yards. He had a receiving touchdown, only a hundred and carries, you know, for 453 yards. He had a couple of touchdowns there, um, but he averaged four and a half yards per attempt and seven and, you know, seven, I think 7.4 yards per catch which, uh, which was very, very nice. Um, and, and I believe, let's see, I think he was fifth or, you know, or, you know, fourth or something like that amongst, you know, as he had 838 all purpose yards, uh, pretty much, which was fifth, fourth or fifth amongst rookies this past season. So, um, very, very good numbers for a guy that wasn't even a starter, you know? And so, uh, putting the ball, you know, giving him a lot more touches. I mean, he only had a hundred carries this past season. So if, if we increase, you know, double that, wow. You know, he could really put up some, some, some nice, nice numbers there. I mean, there's a, when I think of him, there's a particular NFL player that I'm thinking of it, that he reminds me of that he could be. Um, and that's Rashad white of the, of the Tampa Bay bucks. 
I see a lot of Ty J Spears and, and Rashad white comparison there. I mean, Rashad white wasn't, he was a backup running back his rookie year, two years ago and uh, really broke out last year. And, and, you know, he had 70 targets as well, 70, or he had 64 catches on 70 targets. Um, he had 549 yards. So I really see Ty J Spears putting up those Rashad white type of numbers uh, next season. I mean, you know, white, I believe was a top, maybe a top five running back in PPR leagues last year. Um, he had, now he had 272 carries, uh, for 990 yards. I don't know if we're going to see 272 carries from Spears, but if we can get somewhere around 240 to 250, um, you, you know, maybe averaging four yards a carry. I mean, that's a thousand, that's pretty much about a thousand yards. And if he can have those same receptions and same kind of production, those numbers right there are easily achievable by him. And that would be the exact numbers that that White put up this last season, which made him, a, you know, a pretty solid RB1. Yeah, and, and especially I think for the Titans, what's going to be nice is two things, right? Number one, they are probably slightly in a rebuild, getting rid of Rabel at coach, bringing in Callahan over from the Bengals. And that is point two is Callahan, the OC who used to be the OC for the Bengals, right? Coming over. I think their offense is probably going to be slightly more efficient than it has been in the past couple of years. And number two, and this is a little deeper for those um, that don't fully pay attention to the whole coaching carousel thing, but Callahan's dad, who is an amazing offensive line coach is also coming to the Titans. He used to be with the Browns who have an amazing offensive line. So I would expect those two things to be much better for the Titans moving forward. So Bob, I want to thank you for hopping on and talking some Tajay Spears breakout candidate with us today. Uh, I know we're doing another episode, so I'm excited for that one as well. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, Follow Dynasty Pros, check out my channel, follow everything, man. We are here to help you win our league. Bob, thanks for popping on, man. Thank you, sir.